Hi there, once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use jQuery date picker. So I've created this simple application that allows you to pick any date. So you can scroll through and then even select the year we are in, in 2022. If you want to select a year way back in 2021, you can just use the previous arrow to select any year at all that you want. So you can just pick a year, let's say August 19 2021 you can just select that and then you'll pick that specific date okay so i'm going to walk you through how to create this step by step with no step skip if today is your first time visiting my channel consider subscribing don't forget to turn on post notification so the title i just give a header pick your date so you can just pick any date at all you want this could even help you to pick your date of birth okay so let's jump right into action and see how we can create this amazing date picker so open your browser and then search for date picker jquery ui so this is what we're going to set search for date picker jquery ui so when you open this within your browser you open the first link that is the date picker then the bar symbol and then jQuery UI. That is it. So we are going to jQueryUI.com. Open that first link. So it's going to take you to this site. All you need to do is to open the source down here. Okay. So I'm going to show you how we can use this simple code to create this date picker function. But before that, we need to create a folder for our application. So go to your desktop and then create a folder. I'll name this date. So this is my folder dates and go ahead and then open your favorite text editor. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code Editor and then I will recommend it to you because it's so amazing. So go to file and then we'll open the entire folder, the folder we, we created on our desktop. Just open that folder. It's on my desktop and I name it what dates. So I'll select desktop and then what select dates and then open this folder within my code editor. Okay, so we've opened this folder. You can see the folder at the far left corner. What we need to do is that we need to have three folders. We need to have two folders within this. So the first folder is going to be CS, CSS. So that's the first folder. We also need additional folder for our JavaScript. So I'll click on plus and then the folder icon and just type JS. So this is going to be for what? our JavaScript to hold our JavaScript. I'm going to have our main index page. So I'll just click on the file icon and then name it index.html. And then hit enter. So it's going to open this for us and then we can start writing our code. So what we need to do is that let's generate the HTML template. If you use the VLC code editor, you just have to press the shift and the number one on your keyboard and it's going to generate the exclamation sign for you this way just hit the tab key on your keyboard and it's going to generate this template for you we need this to start with like this like a skeleton for your html so this is what we need then after getting this we can just go back to what our website so now what we need is that we're going to copy all the way from the link where we have the first link let's copy everything up to this side where we have the jquery we're going to copy that leave the title out and then copy that and then we'll come back to our text editor paste this within the header okay when you paste this within the header we can just change it you can just change the title to date picker And then with the CSS, we have to change the route to what we have within our folder. So we have to clear all the demo and the source from here. And then our CSS is going to be within our CSS folder. So we just type CSS, CSS slash the star.css. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and then create a CSS folder within this, a style.css folder within. So select that folder and then click on this and then type style.css. Okay, so we have that folder created. We also need one folder within the JS folder. That was the JavaScript. So let's select that and then type scripts.js. And then we hit enter as well. So now we have everything that we want. So let's go back to our index page and do a bit of adjustment. Everything we are using right here is going to be direct from the sites. Okay, so we need to provide a link to that. So you can see we have the the HTTPS link to almost the jQuery file. But if you check the jQuery CSS file, there is no uh, HTTPS attached to it. So let's just copy this. We need to copy this. Let's copy the HTTPS and then make sure we add this before the jQuery CSS. So I'll paste that and everything should be set now. So now we have everything what we need our within our header linked. We also need to link our JS file below this particular application. So we type script and then the source. So use the second link and hit tab. So we indicate the source. The source is within our JS, our JS folder slash, and then automatically VS Code Editor will pick the file within that folder for you. Hit the tab key to select that and we are done for this stage so now within our body we're going to create a small div so that division and i will give it a class of container to we'll create a class called container so that is our class and then let's give a title to this so h1 so let's say pick your dates. Okay, so let's capitalize each word. Okay, so what we've done so far, let's try saving this and then open it within our browser. So we can go to desktop, locate that folder, open the folder, and then all the subfolders we created should be within this. So let's open our index file now. So you can see we now have what pick a date, but we're going to center align this. This is, should be at the center of our page. Then we can go ahead and then do every other thing that we want to do. So let's go to our CSS and try and then style our container. We're going to reduce the style of this container to just 500 pixels. But before that, we'll select everything on our browser by using the asterisk. Select. So we're going to select everything and change the box size into border box. And then we will now pick our container, we'll pick this container class, and then we'll change the size to 500 pixels. So this is a class, so it's going to be dot container. And then we're going to set the width to 500 pixels. And we'll set the margin to 150 top, 150 bottom, and then the left to right will be auto. So that's that this one is going to be 150 top, 150 bottom, and then left to right will set it to what? Auto. Okay, so I think this is set now. Let's try reload our page. So you can see we now have the pick your dates in the middle. So we can go ahead and then do the rest of the changes to our application. So within this, within the container, we are now going to bring our text box. 
that will help us select our date. So within this same site, within the body, we're going to copy this particular link. Okay, this text where we have dates, input type text, and then ID date picker. So just pick that, select that, copy it, and then we'll paste it within just below the header. So we'll paste this below the header this way, and then we'll save this again. Now let's go back and reload our main page. So now we can now see our text box here. If you click on this, nothing is happening so far, but we need to bring our JavaScript to make this work. So we'll go back to the site and then we we'll now copy this JavaScript code over here. So we have the scripts and then the closing tag. We'll copy, we have to copy the code within the opening and closing tag. And then we'll paste this within our own JavaScript file. So paste it here. And then there's no problem with this. There's no error. Go ahead and then save this. And then we'll go back to our code again. And let's try reloading this. I'll zoom in for you to see. So once I click on this, now you can see we now have option to what? Pick a date of our choice. So basically, this is a simple way to use date picker jquery date picker within your application you can use it anywhere within your application that you may allow people to pick a date you can go ahead and then add some additional formatting to this okay if you choose to you can go ahead and then even specify the font size for the input you can do that i don't really want to write a lot of uh, cs in this particular video tutorial you can resize this as well format everything give a background color to this if you want to do this it's just straightforward you can just go ahead and then within our cs where we have the star selection you can just give a background color so i can see background color and then you can pick any color of your choice so i can select aquamarine here and then when i save this and i reload my page you can see we now have the color below this so you can pick you can still pick anything you can format the input type and everything so subscribe for more video related video coding video it tips and tricks right here on this channel we also have a, have a lot to share with you so basically this is how to use date picker jquery date picker within your own application so this is how to use this remember to like subscribe and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So I've shown you how to do this and in, in my videos to come, I'll be teaching you more techniques, coding techniques, tips and tricks. So subscribe if you have the desire to learn programming, then this is the right channel for you. I'll be sharing a lot with you. So stay alert and then don't forget to turn on post notification so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. Till I come away again, bye bye.